Okay, uh, like a recap for you guys. So what they are adding, uh, in case you guys missed the stream. So number one is two new towers. Ooh. So they plan to add two new towers. So one castle is for magic, magic base. One castle is physical base. So two more new towers to give you uh, more content to do. Hooray! So that's the first thing that they are adding. Like this is how it looks like. Evil castle, rogue light. They plan to add rogue light into the um, into the equation, right? So number two. <laughs> oh my god! So there's this character called Alpis. Alright. Do you guys know who Alpis is? Do you guys know who Alpis is? For those of you who are not aware of the existence of the cute and cunny Alpis, go to Evil Castle, okay? Go to Evil Castle right here. So you go inside here, boom. I believe it's this girl right here. Fired none. Wait, is it not that girl? Who is Alpis? It's one of the girl. I'm pretty sure it's that that girl. Give me the goal. I'm pretty sure that girl is Alpis. I could be wrong though, but her name is Tired None. But anyways, you will get Alpis <laughs> for free. They are giving you out for free. Uh, they did mention. <laughs> So apparently she's going to be a 4 star magic buffer and you'll be getting free max dupes for her uh, later on. I don't know when, I think during the half anniversary. So initially she was designed to be a 5 star but she will be a 4 star, right? So uh, this is going to be a character that you obtain for free. Make sure you guys log in and play Brown Dust 2 every day. I don't know when they're going to give her specifically. Uh, I think it's during like the introduction of the new event, the one that's coming after, which is the Marry Me event. So Marry Me event is the next event after the current event, and Marry Me is going to feature none other than the character that you can marry, Rafitia. All right, everybody loves Rafitia. Everybody wish they would marry Rafitia because she's a lolly, three thousand years old lolly. So you will get this character. Um, she is going to be the last member of the six devils. All right. So if you could marry one character, it will be Rafitia. So Rafitia will be added. Uh, she's not free though. All right, Rafitia is not free. You gotta pull for her. So April Bright Rafitia. You want to marry her? I know. You want to marry her. So April Bright Rafitia is going to be huge. So they are also planning to add the uh, original Rafitia, I think, right? So apparently she will have a very insane, very cool skill in which her talent skill makes her suck the Glatis in the area. So no longer do you got to chase Glati. So one of the requirements in Brown Dust 2 for you to do your stupid uh, battle pass is capture Twin Glati, this one. Every single day you got to capture Twin Glati. So make sure you guys pull for Rafitia, easy. So it's like Celia, right? Celia has the ability to suck the um, the glitter. So Rafitia can suck the glatti, I think, something along those lines. So she can have some sort of ability that captures glatti immediately or something. So it's going to be a good quality of life. Good quality of life, perfect for anyone who's looking for fast dailies, all right? No, no, you have to, you have to go around chase stupid glattis. <laughs> Assemble. So Did they mention in specific? Um, so you can obtain Twin Glati. They say here it's similar to Celia's Absorption Talent skill. Alright, so we'll see how it works. Um, what else are they adding? So the next event after, they will be rerunning Windy Cat Season event. So if you miss Dalvi, this is your opportunity. So if you guys one uh, Dalvi, they will rerun Dalvi. Any Dal Dalvi misses, guys? Dalvi, okay? So here's the thing about Dalvi, right? If you pick Dalvi, you're not allowed to play the game in public anymore. That's all I'm saying, right? So think carefully before you pick Dalvi, before you even save tickets for Dalvi, because are you still playing the game in public? Do you go to school every day and play this game in public? amongst your friends. So once you have Dalvi, that might need to change. So it's just an advice overall, right? So you will be able to recruit Dalvi for any of you who miss her. 
Wow. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. Dalby is so cool. Very, very strong PvP character. If you guys are looking for, you know, to build around around the magic team somewhat, right? Will they rerun Lolly Yuri? Uh, they didn't really mention. I think they will rerun Dalvi and one more one more character, one more new character. You don't need friends, you need Dalvi. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, Dalvi is pretty good. So alongside with that, they will also change the world buff cycle. So uh, they did mention this earlier. World buff cycle will be changed from 4 weeks to 2 weeks. So I think this is going to be very good. I, I, I did think about this a little bit, right? So world buff cycle, what the heck is world buff cycle you might be wondering. So world buff cycle is a buff that happens every few weeks that gives you buffs in battle and it applies to a lot of battles. It applies to challenge, it applies to all of these battles, it applies to Finn Hunter, it applies to Evil Castle. Every single battle in the game has world buff. I don't think it applies to PvP, I could be wrong. So how do you know what applies? You can click right here in the top left, you can see what it does is world buff right now season of water. Water damage increased by 50%! That's a lot. That's a lot. World buff is no joke. 50% is a lot. 50% is the difference between you beating a stage and you losing to a stage and you consider swiping because you lost to a stage and you consider wailing in the game. Alright? It's huge. So here's why this could be a problem, right? Where can this be a problem? Why is world buff 4 weeks, 2 weeks a problem? So the problem is 4 weeks is usually quite good because if you pull for a character, Let's say you you do, let's say you started during the uh, Anastasia mid and then Leatrice mid uh, duration. You get the fire character. You you build them up as a new player. You are able to utilize them for one whole month for four weeks. So now you can't utilize them as long. It's not that the it's not that the character become useless. It's just that the world buff is too strong in this game. Element elements are too strong in this game, right? Fifty percent is huge. So. It might be harder for new players to to be able to consistently tackle. Veteran players are fine, alright? You have plenty of characters built. Hopefully you have all of these elements. You should be fine. But I, I'm sure all of you guys here probably have some elements built more than others, right? I'm sure you have... Some of you, maybe you have Angelica and Ventana built, so that's light type. Some of you, maybe you have Celia and then uh, Bunny Eclipse built, so that's like dark type. And then maybe you don't have much wind, you don't have much water. Which is kind of fair, right? Uh, I think it's like, yeah, it's hard to have all the elements built, especially for new players. Even for me, I don't have many win types compared to the other typings. So there's going to be that issue uh, for sure, but they are reducing it to two weeks. So just make sure you guys are aware. So hopefully they give you more, um, more inclusion. So one more thing is they are also introducing this uh, costume. Holy moly! So this is going to be a costume for a cutscene for free for Therese. Therese is getting a lot of costume. Therese, too much, too much. All right, I think this could be too much for some people. Right? There's a lot of people that think this is too much, and I get it. All right, you are playing with your kids, like you are a dad. You have two kids. One kid is three years old. One kid is five years old. How can you want your kid to look at this? Right? You can't. Right? Some of you guys could be an older brother. You have a younger brother who is 12 years old. How can you want your younger brother to, to look at this? You can't. Understandable. Understandable. But uh, regardless, this is going to be free. Uh, I mean as in like she's free, right? This character, Therese, is free. If you guys are not aware, she's the character you obtain in Chapter 7 in the park recruitment. Uh, what else be besides that? They already do the votes, voting stuff. We'll check that in detail. Uh, the more important stuff is going to be... Uh, I want to cover... Okay, Song of Snow will be later. They did announce this later. This will be um, Story Pack 13, which will happen somewhere around May as well. Never too much. It can sometimes be too much, right? And then there will be one more huge character. So this character, you can't really see, but she's going to be Loen. Loen will be added later. Not complete yet, not complete yet, but she's kind of huge, right? So when you play this, you cannot play it around kids anymore. Now you gotta think, should you play Brown Dust 2? Or should you be a good father? So which one, which one do you be, right? If you are a father, if you have kids, right? So uh, it's something that you have to decide. I know it's complicated, but yeah. The world is uh, is tough, it's tough. Which one would you... Like, do you want to be a good friend at school? Or do you want to play Brown Dust too? Because if you play this amongst your friends, you know, it might cause controversy, right? Especially, uh, as far as I know, huge is not allowed, right? Even Stella Black is causing controversy nowadays. So if you are, if you are playing with your friend who is like, whoa, 
Imagine your friend is woke. Don't play this in front of me. I'm an American. Uh, now you get you got drama, right? Do you want drama? Ask yourself. So something that you have to consider. So this is going to be Loan. She will be. She will be the exclusive character that will be added later on. If you guys are wondering who the heck is Loan, uh, some people don't know. It's uh from this. Let me exit this. It's from the Night of the Sky. Thank thank God there's no woke people in your country. There's no woke people in your country. Oh, don't worry. Eventually, there'll be more woke people. Woke is a thing nowadays. Woke culture is increasing. Woke culture is rising. So, uh, this this girl right here, right? Woke friend. <laughs> yeah, some friends are woke, right? Some friends are just woke. <laughs> go woke or go broke. So, Loen is this girl right here. So, you get to recruit her later on. I'm 19 and I always probably brought us two in my room alone. That's fair, that's fair. But what if you need to do dailies outside sometimes when you go out with your friends, right? Woke friend is tough. Oh, there are some friends that are woke, right? So, uh, yeah, she will be added. Apparently, she's going to be a magic type. Loen. Okay, what else? And... Collab. Okay, so collab is uh, something that they are still keeping it a secret, sadly. I hope that they will announce it soon. But at least we know the dates, alright? That's a good thing. We know the date. When is it coming? 23rd of May. Mark your calendars. So, if I'm not mistaken, the same day Brown does getting a collab is the same day of Wootering! Wootering Waves. Same day. So, you gotta choose. You gotta choose. Wootering or Brown does 2 collab. Alright, so now you gotta. Un Wait, is it Wootering and Brown does 2 collab? Damn. That would be insane if they collab with Wootering Waves. I don't think they will. It would be a bit weird. Anyways. Choose carefully, alright, because uh, the collab is going to be huge, alright? And some of you guys are looking to whale and wootering as well, I get it. I get it. So, uh, I'm just letting you guys know in advance, alright? Dragon Ball, easy choice. What's the collab with? No, nobody knows. Nobody knows for now, they cannot announce the IP yet. Okay. It's a secret. It has to be a secret, last minute secret. Ooh, secret! Secret! <laughs> so, what, wootering? But wootering has dudes though. Have you not seen wootering? The dudes are insane. The dudes are so insane. Anyways, Wootering will be later. What else? And one last thing that people have been complaining and bitching for the longest time ever. So what is the thing that people have been bitching non-stop? What's the thing? PC client. You cannot buy stuff. Some of you guys have a lot of money. Alright? And you'll be like, Yo, I want to buy this one. Uh-oh, purchase is not possible. Okay, finally. Finally, they are fixing this drama. This drama is gone once and for all. These are unavailable, 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 unavailable. Now, you can finally whale to play. Whale to play. Destroy the kids, alright? The kids have no money. Now you can finally be above them. And I, I like this feature, alright? Finally, they are adding an ability to be able to purchase on PC payment. I'm not sure how it works. I can see a Google Play right here, right? You can see Google Play right there. So, overall, that's pretty much the. That's pretty much the summary. That is pretty much the summary for the 300 days live stream. Uh, I think I pretty much condensed everything. Those are the things available, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then the rest is just a Q&A and basically they do the costume vote thing. But uh, I do think that, you know, with all of these characters coming in, and I think more people are looking forward to the collab. Oh, one more thing they didn't mention is uh, in June, it's going to be the first anniversary. So make sure you guys are aware of that. Because after the collab, immediately it's going to be the one year anniversary somewhere in June. Maybe not immediately after, but maybe like one month after. So make sure you guys save enough for both collab and anniversary, because usually anniversary characters are limited. So you know how it is. FOMO! FOMO! Alright? FOMO! Know the word correctly. If you guys don't know what this word means, FOMO. Alright, do you guys know what this means? FOMO. Fear of missing out. Limited. Limited. Alright? So guys, save your tickets. Alright, don't spend too much on Refitia. That's all I that's all I gotta say.